Over the past few months, I have been sharing some facts about Duke for you to get to know him a little bit better. But I've realized I haven't shared anything about myself. So today, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about before Duke and the very first dog I ever met, Daisy. If you ever met me, I can guarantee you'd never think I was a dog person. A cat person, maybe, but definitely not a dog person. Kind of ironic, considering Duke, I know that. Truth be told, I never really considered myself a dog person either until Duke came into my life. You see, Duke is my very first dog. Well, him and his brother, Sam, really. Since I did foster Sam for the first 18 months of his life, he has to be counted too. The thing is, they weren't technically the first two dogs in my life. Their mother, Daisy, was. She was a short, copper-colored dog with long hair and looked like a cross between a golden retriever and a pit bull. She was so sweet, kind, funny, and everything you could ever want in a dog. Even though she wasn't my dog, she quickly made friends with me, something I never thought possible. You see, when I was eight years old, I was attacked by a neighbor's Boston Terrier. And it didn't help that the kids who owned the dog would purposely let their monster, as I called it, loose in my yard. They knew full well how afraid of their dog I was, yet do it anyway and laugh about it. This incident made me terrified of dogs for years. As long as it was a dog, I wouldn't give them a chance, try to get to know them, or go anywhere near them because of my fear. I would freeze and head home as quickly as I possibly could to scare it to be attacked again. Fast forward to Daisy. She just showed up one day as I was getting out of my house for one of my daily walks. There she was, smiling, and the first instinct I had was to freeze. Oh, dog, was the only thing I could say. There I was, frozen on my steps with this dog I didn't know staring back at me. And that was the only thing I could say. I gauged her demeanor for a second or two, making sure she wasn't going to lunge or bark at me. Once I realized she wasn't going to attack me, I calmly passed her and started my walk. The next thing I knew, she was walking right next to me like we've known each other for years. I wasn't expecting that at all. In my head, I was like, this is really happening. Then I told her, oh, so you're coming with me then. For months this went on, where we'd walk together, get to know each other, and talk. More like I'd talk and she'd listen. I easily started liking her company and petting her. She was helping me to slowly get over my fear of dogs without realizing it. Little did I know, my friendship with Daisy would lead me down the road to dog motherhood. I never dreamed I'd have a dog of my own who is as sweet, loving, loyal, kind, and funny, and caring as his mother was. She showed me not all dogs are aggressive, but how loving, loyal, and sweet they can be. And I can't thank Daisy enough for that. So you see, Duke is kind of my third dog, I guess you could say. Because of his mother, Daisy, he wouldn't exactly be in my life. I do have to thank her for that. She passed away a few years ago. And to be honest with you, I do miss her every single day. But a little piece of her lives on in him and lives on in his brother, Sam. If you want to get to know a little bit more about Duke and Sam's relationship, we do have a video about that that I'm going to link in the cards and in the description and pinned comments below. You can go and check that out a little later on. We also have a playlist full of stories about Duke's life that you can also check out right here. Those stories will also help you to get to know Duke a little bit better. Remember to bring some joy, laughs, and smiles to someone's day, and we will see you in our next video. Later.